I was involved in the head-on collision October 14th. Um, I was wearing my seatbelt and it saved my life. January 1st is the 35th anniversary of Ontario's seatbelt laws. The compliance rate these days is about 92.8%. And among those who do comply is Ottawa's Peter Vatcher, who probably would have been killed in October of this year had he not. It was around 7.30 at night when Vatcher was on his way back towards Ottawa from Greeley after picking up snow tires for his wife and daughter when he saw the headlights in his lane. All I remember were sudden headlights and the car was there. Like I'd never had a chance to even touch the brakes. Uh, there was no time to react. They were there and so it was a direct impact. The two men in the Ford Windstar van that struck Vatcher both were not wearing their seatbelts and had been drinking. They died at the scene. Vatcher makes his living as a professional driver, at least he did before the crash. He won't be back on the road for at least a year. He's been driving for UPS for 15 years and in that time he's never had a crash. And he, like all other drivers, would take part in regular defensive driving tests. It doesn't matter how well experienced you are behind the wheel, if you're not wearing a seatbelt, Vatcher says, there's nothing that can help you. And it uh, saves lives. It's, uh, you know, it's a proven fact. Seatbelts save lives. Though he's grateful, things will never be exactly as they were before the crash. Vatcher has a steel plate in his shoulder and in his arm. But he is grateful, perhaps mostly because his daughter was planning on coming with him that night to watch him in action as he bartered to bring down the price of the tires. And firefighters told him that if she had been in the passenger seat, there's a good chance, seatbelt or not, she wouldn't have survived. In Ottawa, Doug Hempstead for the Ottawa Sun.